Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this black Land Rover Discovery 3. It's a 2007 model and it's the SE which came with rear parking sensors, xenon headlights and leather seats. The Discovery 3 came out in 2005 and in 2007 there was a couple of minor updates um, including the Xenon lights, which became stands on the SE, and just a much nicer wheel package. This car's also got a nice set of Pirelli Scorpion tyres, which are the best tyre for this type of car. It's done 150,000 kilometres since it was new, and it's had just about every single service done at a Land Rover dealership, which is very good to see. It's got climate control air conditioning, a reverse camera, navigation. It's got adjustable suspension as well. Here so you can, at the click of a button, the car can go up by about a foot, half a foot to a foot, and it can also go down, you know, if you're going into a car park or something like that. It's also got the terrain response program here, so you just turn it to gravel road, snow, whatever it might be. And the vehicle's electronic stability program will send the power to where it needs to go. But for a black car, it's in particularly good condition. It doesn't look like it's been used off-road and uh, it's something worth mentioning because the Discovery 3 is one of the best off-roaders you can buy. And as a result, a lot of them have done off-road and some of them have actually done pretty serious off-road. Which is okay, it's what they're designed for, but it's just putting a lot more strain and pressure on the engine, the suspension components, etc. It's got a two-way tailgate, seven seats. The hood lining's in good condition as well. It's got two remote keys. It's got a tow bar. It's just generally been very well looked after. You can see it's got the original mud flaps that it came with, that's something to look for because if they've been used off-road often people take them off or they, they come off <laughs> because, uh, because of the terrain you're driving on. I'll just put this back seat down. The leather is in amazing condition. It doesn't look like it's had a, um, a baby seat in the back or anything like that. It's also got rear air conditioning and controls on the roof there. It's got the original rubber mats. It's fully automatic with the Tiptronic option. And I think it's great that it does have the navigation and reverse camera fitted, especially if you've got small children, the reverse camera is very important. But it's a very good car. It does have a great service history, as I said. The tyres are in great condition. I think it's nice that it's got Xenon headlights. As good as a Discovery 3 was, for me, if it didn't, if it had the original halogen lights, it would just feel quite a bit older. But that's just my opinion. It also looks a lot better. But if you've been looking at Discovery 3s, you'll probably find that a lot of them may not have a good service history. You know, it's been a family car. The spare car, the spare key's been lost. There's a dent on every panel. Uh, this isn't one of those cars. It's, it's actually very good and it's been looked after. It's got the four litre six cylinder engine, which is very reliable. If you go online, you'll see Discovery 3s with two, three, 400,000 kilometers with this engine. But it's good for towing, off-road. It's very good if you've got a family. The resale on the Discovery 3 is good because no matter how old it is and how many kilometers it's done, there's always someone who's going to want to buy it and take it off-road. And they are very reliable. It's also got automatic headlights and cruise control, obviously. And if you have any specific questions about this car, please give us a call. You can ask for me. My name's Philip. Um, I'll finish up saying it does have Bluetooth as well, if I haven't mentioned it. And um, we're located in Sydney in Marrickville, just, just 20 minutes from Sydney Airport.
and I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch the video.